من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقهوا قولي today's topic is true love or people rather call it valentine's day what is the reality of it so let's see where did valentine's day came from there are many traditions about its origin but the most authentic seems to be the one from encyclopedia britannica that says that this day has nothing to do with the saint valentine instead it is related to the roman pagans festival of their god lupercalia it was celebrated on 15th feb and in honor of the goddess juno Februota, the names of the girls were placed in an urn and the men would draw out the name of a girl at random who would then become their date like date yeah actually what they do right now for the remaining festival when christianity came to the rome they tried to christianize this obscene yet popular festival by the men were then supposed to emulate the saint whose name they drew for the rest of the year however this attempt proved unsuccessful and the use of girl's name returned any associated it with cupid the virtually you know without clothes naked god of love the central character of valentine's day paraphernalia which shoots people with its arrow to make them fall in love and apparently the rose was her favorite flower another tradition speaks of a saint valentine who was killed on 14th feb by emperor claudius for secretly arranging the marriages of his soldiers whom he had banned from marriage the bishop is said to have fallen in love with the jailer's daughter during his imprisonment and wrote her letter signed your valentine and your valentine <coughs> became a tradition for the people and here it's like you know for people to come in 496 pope jelesius officially replaced the pagan festival of 15th feb with saint valentine's day on 14th feb this is how it came but today Va- valentine's day today how is it whatever the origin of this day today it seems to have written to its pagan vulgar roots with the child god cupid and open dating being very much a part of it the valentine's lottery caused severe problems in france and was banned completely in 1776 later italy hungary austria and germany also rid themselves of this obscene custom england remained safe until it was under puritan rule but the charles ii started it again from there it entered america you understand from there it entered america where it was first commercialized by e a holland who made $5000 from setting valentine card in 1995 1000000000 valentine cards were delivered in the US and postal department an extra profit of 30 million dollar flowers began to be used in 1300 now people all over cashed in on opportunity to kindle the fire in young hearts and instill in their minds the necessity of having a special someone to love no wonder a newspaper carried news of a woman who sued her husband for divorce for not giving 
anything on Valentine. Allahu Akbar. According to her, it was absolutely necessary to express one's love on this day. And her husband did not give her anything, which meant that he did not love her. And apparently, Valentine's Day made her feel unloved rather than love. Oh, what kind of thing. What kind of love depends upon gifts for its survival? What kind of love is restricted to one day in the whole year? What kind of love breeds hatred, jealousy and sense of deprivation in many? Valentine's Day also proves exceptionally painful for not so popular children in school. And these days, this is how it's going. Who don't get as many Valentine's cards as their friends do. Like even in Pakistan, these days has come to mean getting grasped in red Valentine's cards, hearts, chocolates, through these apparently innocent things. The occasion promotes the culture of free mixing male and female relation. Also becoming common are public displays of emotion, including advertising, love messages in newspaper, going out on romantic deeds, attending Valentine balls, parties. Schools are not far behind <coughs> in holding such parties for their students. As a result, even young children are fed new ideas of developing lusty feelings and expressing them boldly. The young imitate their favorite movie, love scenes in broad daylight, in all the love fever, Islam is given a backseat to sit and see how its teaching are being ridiculed in public. The question that comes to mind is why we should celebrate Valentine's Day. Is it our national festival or a religious one? Festival are a part of nation's identity. They are symbolize any religion or culture. Ask yourself, on this day, that the word celebration, love, and you see hearts are all around, ask yourself, have I ever thought of loving the one who created me? The one who gave me a heart that can feel love? Has this heart ever felt love for him? How many times have I cried for his love? Have I ever spent any time effort of money to express my love to him i'm confident enough to declare my love for him do i ever miss him in solitude or amongst crowd or am i wasting our beautiful emotion that was meant for eternity not just momentarily gratification of our ego in spite of our ingratitude the merciful one continues to love us. Our love is a measure of faith, is our love. So what we learn here, what Allah subhanahu wa says, what is the true love? Let's see that. <clears throat> Ask yourself, how much do I love Prophet sallallahu who said, by him in whose hands my life is, none of you will have faith till he loves me more than his father, and his children and all the mankind and this is in Sahih al-Bukhari did you ever wonder how we can get Allah to love us too ask yourself why do I love the people I do are the motives are all worldly likes their looks or money or is it something deeper like their piety or good deeds is Valentine's Day anything but obeying all our baser desires and following our lust? Are we only like a cattle following our needs and desires without knowing why, without understanding? In Islam, there is no concept of a boy-girl friendship. Qualities of women are described in Quran. Chaste, not lustful nor once taking secret friends. Surah Nisa, Ayah number 25. Muslims have a beautiful institution of marriage where romance is not a summer fling or 
nor is it based on superficial look but on a serene relationship of mutual affection kindness and responsibility so as i mentioned islam promotes love about marriage love love after marriage so let's see surah an-nisa ayah number 25 allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says if one cannot afford to marry the free muslim woman then ma- then may marry the one you people on of your muslim girls allah knows best about your faith you are similar to each other so marry them with the permission of their masters and give them their dues as recognized they are being bound in marriage not going for lust remember not going for lust it's clearly mentioned here nor having paramours so once they have been bound in the marriage then if they commit a shameful act they shall be liable to half of the punishment the free women that is for those of you who apprehend to indulge in sin but that you be patient is better for you allah is most forgiving very merciful so in islam always marriage is promoted only that is the halal way whatever we are doing dating going out boy, guy, girl and a boy and sometimes boy and a boy girl and a girl that is completely forbidden haram allah save us all from such things and even muslim women and men they celebrate valentines day what prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said whoever following yahud and nasara they are going to go in a thing which they go do you want to follow there like if they fall in the pit do you want to fall in the pit no way right prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam clearly said not to imitate them you remember about uh, musa alaihi salam when he rescued bani israel they were fasting one day but what prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said we should fast two days because we want to oppose people of book so we should we should oppose and we have to oppose people of book we shouldn't imitate them isn't it jazakallah khairan kaseer